Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Looking at SPY on the daily, weekly, shorter term time frames, and this is a pattern now four days out of the last five with a higher open and then the bears taking over into regular trading and when you notice a pattern and it starts to play out more than once or twice and it becomes a pattern you keep playing that pattern until it doesn't work anymore and here we can see very clearly seven red days i believe someone said that that is the longest losing streak in five years on spy I haven't looked into that myself but we'll certainly seeing a big pullback and lower highs and lower lows every day with the lower bollinger band rejected the price yesterday it rejected the price today so we're going to have to watch that resistance level going forward the s p 500 let's look at spx on the weekly we're losing 2100 or 2120 i should say support and 2100 if we close this week below 2100 we're looking down at 2070 as the next stop so the signal for weakness was watching the 10-week moving average resistance watching the rejection after rejection and now we're seeing the dump and another leg to the downside. So resistance after the lower Bollinger Band, we'll have to update that at the open. We'll be looking at the high of today, 211.10. There were all kinds of signals on the shorter term time frames to let us know the bears were in full control all day. The first one was this 200 period, five minute moving average resistance. We started the day in a channel between 100 period support, 200 period resistance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight rejections in the first 10 candlesticks right here's your bear signal we closed below all moving average support hit a new low of the day and then it was just lower highs and lower lows for the next three hours we are also watching the 20 period moving average there were a ton of individual names setting up today with the 20 period moving average resistance as the first key test of resistance look at the reaction to spy and look at individual names look at the stock that you were watching today and it likely Rejected from its 20 period moving average hourly resistance just like spy did because the correlation is so strong between individual names and spy during this time of market pullback. So that combined with the five minute chart was absolutely a bearish signal. The low breaking the low of yesterday was absolutely bearish and we're still struggling at exponential moving average resistance. The daily RSI and the hourly RSI are in the low 30s, but they're not even oversold yet. And we can see here on the five minute time frame, the reaction to the FOMC was pretty muted in the sense that it wasn't significant in either direction. Look at the 100 period moving average resistance. One, two, three, four rejections, unable to get above it. The high of the bounce attempt was 210.43. Double top to the penny, 210.43. Lower high, 210.40. Bears taking control at the end of the day. So 210.43 is a resistance level to watch. The hourly 20 period is a resistance level to watch. And the lower daily Bollinger Band, all resistances to watch heading into tomorrow. Bears are in full control until they prove otherwise. And you see people looking for bulls like, okay, we pulled back significantly. Time to start looking bullish. No, it's not time to start looking bullish until we get signals. And at this point, signal number one for me will be the hourly 20 period moving average becoming support. Then we can start to look for a short term bounce. So I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in tomorrow. Two days left in the week. A wild start to November the past two days, certainly favoring the Bears. And I'll see you tomorrow.